Hello. Welcome to the Engagement.com podcast. This is Sean Sewell, your host. It is Monday, August 19th, 2019. Took about a 10-day break from our last podcast. And in that 10-day span, we had a lot of cool things going on. So I'm going to try and catch you all up to speed on what all what all's going on in the Engagement world with our 16 riders now and um, our free solo giveaway, the fitness world, Strong First, Pavel, uh, fitness training for the mountains, gear reviews, upcoming gear reviews, upcoming interviews, and other generally awesome stuff. So let's start at the beginning. Tonight at Red Rocks is the free solo movie premiere at um, the Red Rocks Amphitheater in Morrison, Colorado. It is a iconic, beautiful venue for concerts and movies. And we are very excited because Kate Agathon and myself put together one of our very first ever giveaways. And we launched that about about three or four weeks ago. And the response was phenomenal, like astoundingly blew our minds. We had something like 140, 150 people enter to win. And that was just in uh, the three week time span. So the winners, we we drew at random were Christy Brown and her boyfriend Dennis Wagoner and their three dogs and uh, couldn't have gone to a better couple she's a yoga instructor at a climbing gym so <laughs> you can't get better than that and they're from the Denver metro area so tonight they are enjoying VIP treatment at Red Rocks to watch free solo get a couple of free beers free swag from us some Uh, Chalk bags from backcountry.com and Black Diamond. Alex's own climbing harness from Black Diamond. uh, A nice crag bag from backcountry.com. A plethora of awesome supplements from Hana One, which is Jimmy Chin's line right there. And um, I've been taking those now too, and I'm enjoying the Hana One products. The ashwagandha and the um, turmeric and the daily Hana One. And then Bentgate threw in a $25 gift certificate, as well as two hats and two water bottles. Earth Treks threw in two day passes. And Denver Film Society, thank you for hooking up the VIP movie tickets. So, awesome. About this time I'm recording this, Christy and her boyfriend Dennis are enjoying Free Solo at Red Rocks. How cool is that? Well, it's pretty dang cool. So, my dogs Riley and I are, well, Riley and Chloe and I are up in the mountains of Colorado testing out some cool gear by ourselves. Currently, we are testing out the Black Diamond Highlight 3 and the Vestibule. That's new for this year. In fact, our tent is so new, it's not even the right color for purchase. So, (laughs) one of the great situations we encounter very often is we get prototypes of gear to test a season or even two seasons before they come out. And so the tent should be able to be purchased by the time this podcast is out and uh, the color will be different. It'll be blue, actually. We have a bright green one anyways I'm up here shooting the video for that and then testing out and doing videos for the thermal rest um, Vita two-person down quilt as well as a big Agnes two-person synthetic sleeping bag the dream island 15 degree as well as the dream island not dream island the insulated air core uh, double wide sleeping pad from Big Agnes. So uh, just some of the some of the things we're shooting the videos for. These are products we've had for probably about two months and enjoyed in the mountains and now it's it's good sun. There's no wind which is pretty astounding for where we're at. We're, we're at 11,000 feet and um, the wind is very minimal so it makes for very good audio. In fact I'm outside recording this and you can't probably hear the wind so <laughs> it's ideal for shooting our videos to showcase these items and walk you, the the listener and the readers, through the ups and the downs of these products. Uh, Also, we have the Adidas Swift R2 GTX Mid boot we're doing a review up here for. Um, Got this really cool Kickstarter, Wander. It's a Utah company that makes backpacks and um, products specifically for outdoor photographers. So we have this really cool inflatable um, backpack slash camera bag it's really cool so we have a prototype we're shooting the review on that for that as well so a lot to look forward to 
in the upcoming weeks as far as reviews and videos from Engearment. Um, last week we got the Patagonia Rain Shadow review up. Now that's, it's not just a rain jacket, it's actually made from recycled fabrics and the majority of those recycled fabrics are made from repurposed, recycled fishing nets. So again, this uh, ties into Patagonia's uh, call to action for companies to, you know, upcycle, reuse, reduce, recycle products, in this case fishing nets. Um, I believe this technology came over from the collaboration with Bore um God, I must say this wrong, Boreas, uh, oh, I didn't say that right at all, <laughs> I'll fix that in the show notes, uh, Costa Del Mar collaborated with this company from Patagonia, South America, that was recycling fishing nets to make a plastic to make sunglass frames, skateboards, and in uh, Patagonia's case, the bills of all their hats for next season. So, um, probably taken from that technology using uh, their their process to turn fishnets into a pliable, durable material made what I think is probably the best rain jacket for under 200 bucks. And I had the review up. It's on ingearment.com. Got a detailed video as well. It's up on YouTube, and I'll have links to all that below. So we'll have that review up on ingearment.com for the Patagonia Rain Shadow Jacket. Again, I feel like it's the best rain jacket under $200. And then we also have up uh, the dog gear review, thanks to Kate. And Will Coleman was busy working on three separate reviews for MSR. The Front Country Tarp Tent, the Ascent 2 Tent, and the Direct Access 2 Tent. Those will all be up this week as well. In fact, later tonight, Will Coleman will be joining me for a podcast episode. After he's done climbing, we're going to cook up some food and get a campfire going and do a podcast and uh, catch up with him and see how his trip to Rainier went with his buddies and the products he used in that. So stay tuned for that up next. Ah, so much more. <laughs> so much more to cover to try and catch you up. In the fitness world, so um, the last two podcasts were featuring fitness professionals. And that was intentional as I really want to give you, the listener, some insight into what goes into, in my opinion, the lifestyle, the considerations, and the training of an outdoor person. You don't just wake up one day, go to REI, buy a bunch of gear, and go to the mountains and be successful. It takes, it takes fortitude, it takes preparation, it takes training, dedication, and a willingness to, to learn and to be humbled by your environment, your actions, and your surroundings. One of the things you can do to, I don't want to say mitigate, but to improve the chances of enjoyment would be to take your health, fitness, and nutrition, and recovery seriously. So everybody I know that I appreciate and respect that goes outside to do an activity that might seem extreme to, to other people or might just seem ridiculous to most people, they don't just wake up one day and go do it. They, they have a plan. They do their best to stick to that plan. They train they they take days off to recover, they try and get rest, they uh, will seek out therapies such as massage or ART or um, other kinds of therapy, cryogenic, anything they can do to recover and get better so they can go out and tackle that next monumental achievement um, in, their, in their wheelhouse. So as a fitness professional myself, and I've been so for almost 11 years now, it's uh, one of my passions to try and educate myself as much as possible on current fitness and health information and education to apply it to the people I care about, i.e. the people I train. Some might say clients, some might say students, but I say the people I care about that I want to see do better in life. Now, it can be a teenage person, it could be a, a child, it could be a octogenarian, it could be somebody post-bariatric surgery, it could be a split-boarding athlete in their 20s and their prime of their life. They all deserve uh, the same respect and attention 
and dedication to their quality of life. So um, I don't want to bore you with my credentials, but I have quite a few continuing education courses I've done and certifications. And um, <laughs> if I were to list out the acronyms and letters after my, my last name, it would be it would be a lot. It'd probably be more than 30 letters. And that's not to brag. That's just to, to tell you how important I think health, fitness, nutrition, and proper training is. So that's why I created the Mountain Fitness School and the I link below and I'm celebrating one year of the Mountain Fitness School being open and just over just over 60 people enrolled now and um, that's pretty good for me not pushing it too too much I mean it's I, I mentioned it on the podcast now three times and um, I, I took a break from pushing it the last year as I was taking care of both my parents as they were dealing with uh, terminal cancer but um, that being said uh, you know, the 60 people I have enrolled worldwide have seen great results, and I've really enjoyed seeing their success for whether it's mountain activities or uh, flatland activities or just general quality of life activities. It's been really amazing. And the reason it's so amazing is I'm, I'm basing it on some very, very solid science and research from Russia. And that information was shared to me two years and two weeks ago from Pavel, Pavel Tasulin. Um, I probably didn't say that very well, but you know the Pavel I'm talking about. He is the man credited with bringing the kettlebell over to America from Russia. He immigrated here a while back and is very well credited and very well uh, credited for being probably one of the most influential people in health and fitness in the last 15, 20 years. And I've had a chance to learn from him directly um, at the Strong Endurance event two years and two weeks ago. And using that science and those training protocols um, on myself and then on people I train, I was able to create a program that is based on that science and based on that proven t um, protocols and add a few things to it to become a, what do I want to say, a, a self-sustaining, minimalistic training program that is manageable, achievable, and really, really works. So... Um, this is this is kind of mind blowing, but last week I received my first copy uh, last Tuesday of the Quick and the Dead, which is Pavel's new book, and that's an a very aggressive name for a book, and I know but that's what Pavel does. Last one was Simple and Sinister, and it, you know it sounds like a James Bond movie, but what it really is, it's Quick and the Dead is based off of the O three three C and the O forty four protocols from Strong Endurance, both of which I based my Mountain Fitness training program around and added a few things and tweaked a few things but generally it's the same thing as far as exerting yourself in a certain amount of time recovering for a certain amount of time to increase mitochondrial efficiency to allow you to have more endurance and as a side effect more strength so it's just it's a win-win and he's proven it and before him other scientists from russia proved these theories uh, practical possible and repeatable <laughs> which is what you want it's uh it's amazing stuff so serendipitously um he gave me an incredibly big shout out on page 43 in fact it's like three or four paragraphs he gives a lot of really great instructors shout outs in the book as well very well deserving but um yeah having having all those paragraphs in the book it's pretty huge and then even a, even more serendipitous and deep level one of my friends, Matthew Flatterty from uh, Brooklyn, New York, he's a strong first uh, SFL, SFB, SFG, SFG2, and also I met him at the Strong Endurance event two, two years, two weeks ago. He's mentioned uh, in the upper part of that page. And it's super, super serendipitous that he's mentioned for using the, that protocol to increase his endurance while he was in Steamboat Springs on a bike race. And last weekend, my wife and I and her family were in Steamboat, and guess who was in Steamboat as well? Yes, Matthew and his family, two kids, two dogs, and wife. So we went and had a few beers and uh, sat at a steakhouse and caught up. Uh, you can't make this stuff up, folks. It's just universe speaking or God speaking or whatever you want to say it is. And um, this stuff works. The people involved in this stuff work. Um, to get a shout out from Pavel in the book is incredible. And then... In the even deeper twist of fate or serendipity or uh, coincidence, whatever you want to call it, synchronicity, 
Um, I redid my Strong First SFG just last weekend. Um, just wrapped up about 20, 22 hours ago. And um, in that course, they did that protocol for the whole group. So we got like 85 people doing the protocol from the book that I'm <laughs> quoted in. Um, and there's the basis for the Mountain Fitness Training School. So, <laughs> uh, goosebumps, guys, goosebumps. Really cool stuff. So, anywho, I would go spend the money, 15 bucks, 16 bucks, and go on Amazon. I'll have a link below to get The Quick and the Dead. Read the book. It's in Pavel's fun, fun um, tone. He's, he's very efficient, dry, and also uh, effective in how he talks. Whereas I ramble, as you can tell. And then if you enjoy that so much that you want to learn how to do it, either, you know, you can seek me out for one-on-one -on -one training, you can seek out uh, SFG through the Strong First website, or you can enroll in the uh, Mountain Strong or the Mountain Fitness School uh, program. I have a link below. And um, usually it's 300 bucks because I'm so, so dang excited to be in the book and so excited this work for the 60 plus people and so excited this work for my 35 people in person that I reduced the price to $97. Because I just want everybody to do this. I mean, it, it works so damn well. So, anywho, I will get off my soapbox about about that mountain fitness school and Pavel and swinging kettlebells and all the amazingly linked up coincidences that seem to happen with this. But, um... With that in mind, it is the end of August. I imagine in about two months' time, we will be in the same mountains, covered in snow, doing more in-depth winter camping gear reviews, and also backcountry skiing and splitboarding, which is, if you haven't gathered by now, splitboarding is my favorite thing ever. Wrote the damn book on it. It's on Amazon. And uh, I'm going to write the next volume of that because gear is getting better. Uh, Air Education, uh, that's American Institute of Avalanche Research Education, has has uh, gotten better, as education always does. So I'm going to have links to all the more current curriculum and best practices and all the new and improved gear and all the, all the cool things. But um, that should... That should do it for this podcast. I just wanted to catch you guys all up on what's new in the engagement world and uh, the fitness world and the strong first world and the outdoor world and free solo world. And I hope everything's good in your world too. So stay tuned for the next episode of the podcast. I will be interviewing Will Coleman tonight for that podcast. And that one should be pretty damn entertaining. So this one had, I hopefully... Hopefully it didn't cuss just once, um, so it should be safe for work, safe for kids, and all the good stuff. Uh, if not, I'll definitely update those links, but the next one probably will involve a lot of adult language, like the last one. So, <laughs> heads up, probably not safe for work. Alright folks, well I love you for listening. I hope you guys are all great and doing things you want to do in your world and having all the, the time of your life and the adventures of your life. Until next time, this is Sean Sewell with TheEngagement.com with Chloe and Riley Sewell. As they're snoring next to me. And I look forward to talking with you guys soon. Bye.